This is Mary Cutter. Thanks for tuning in to Mary Cutter's Country Music Hour on WBRT and BR TV. With us in the studio tonight is a very talented gal, Miss Autumn Marie. Thanks, Autumn, for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I am so glad you're here. You are really talented. My goodness, I'm just blown away, literally. Um, tell us a little bit about how you first got into music. Well, first, when I was little, I wanted to be a prima ballerina, and then I quickly discovered that I had two left feet. <laughs> And you can't be a prima ballerina with two left feet, not even close. So I went to musical theater and I was like, this will be much better, you know. I still couldn't figure out why I wanted to do it, but I thought the stage would be cool. And then I realized that in musical theater, they still make you dance, which is kind of terrible, but they still make you dance. And my high school teacher would always say, Autumn, why don't you go home and practice? Everybody else is going home to practice. Why aren't you? I'm like, I am. I am. I'm going home to practice. I just can't learn the moves. And... Uh, I realized that some of my friends were going to this music school called School of Rock. So I figured, you know, I'll check it out. And I go over there and I start taking lessons and I teach myself guitar just so I could sing along with it. And I realized that the people who play music on the radio, they're actual people. I don't know. It never, it never clicked that those are real people. And it never clicked that you could actually do that. And I was like, wait, really? I can, I can do musical theater without the acting, without the dancing? Like, that sounds fabulous. So... I started doing that and I was playing in a million bands and I was playing in bands and they needed original music. And I was like, well, my best friend's a songwriter. So she's been trying to help me write songs for years. You know, I can throw you some material. Started recording EPs and everything. And I ended up going to college at University of Colorado Denver for a year where I was a singer songwriter major. And that was a really cool experience to be in such a big city. But I was like, I can't find a sound. You know, there's all this music that I want to write. And everybody listens to all these different genres, but they write one genre. But one day I'd write pop and one day I'd write rock and one day I'd write folk and I was never writing the same thing every day and I was like I can't be an artist if my sound is changing by the song you know you can change over the years but you can't change by the minute and I was like wait I hear in Nashville you can just be a songwriter so my friend actually applied to Beaumont songwriting program for me and I got in which was fabulous and I moved to Nashville like the cliche and I started just songwriting and learning about co-writing and now I'm just in love with it because I can write all the music that I want to write and I'm not confined by anything. Okay, so that is the coolest backstory ever. That is so neat. You know, and it's crazy that, you know, where the journey goes. You know, I don't know if you saw that meme online. I love it. I just had to throw this in there where it says um, what people think success looks like. It's like a straight line. But what it really is, like this zigzag all over the place, yeah. loopy. And it's just cool. That that's the way it is with the journey of life, I think. You know, of course, we're both young. But yeah. that's what I'm seeing so far. Yeah. And that's so cool that, you know, all the different things so that you did from theater to then just, you know, being the stage gal up there singing it all I think led you to where you are now with the songwriting and I'm glad you brought that up because you do a lot of writing and you write a lot with artists and you develop them a lot with that tell our audience a little bit about that so I'm a people person I'm like the textbook definition of an extrovert <laughs> so one of my favorite things about music and was that in bands you're constantly interacting with people constantly you're talking to people all the time you're jamming with them the music is just it's so interactive so when i was in denver i was playing all of these solo sets all the time and i thought it was so cool at first and then i was like this is lonely you know and some people some people love it but i was just too extroverted i'm like i need a it's not even i i, I need more than just a band i need to be interacting with people so when I heard that Nashville was this co-writing culture, I'd only co-written twice before and it never even crossed my radar to co-write. So I went onto like the Beaumont Facebook page and I saw this kid who was also like from Denver and I messaged him and I was like, you have really good music. Do you want to co-write? So we drive in in the morning and that night I'm on the lawn with him and we're writing this song and we ended up recording it and it was fabulous to do that but after that I was just addicted so now I mean I mean it must be unhealthy because I'm writing I'm doing six co-writes a week and I'm writing with all these artists who have these some have these really sure ideas of their sound like I had a girl sit me down the other day and she goes I she had a binder of her favorite albums and what she wanted to sound like. And she was leafing me through, I want my lyrics to sound like this and my melodies like this. And I was sitting there like, yeah, let's do it. You know, she knows what she wants and I'm just helping her get there. I have other artists who come in and they're like, Autumn, 
I have no idea who I am. I have no idea where I'm going on life. I just want to make good music. And I'm like, okay, well, let's see who you are as a person. Let's see how that translates into you as an artist. And let's see what we can come up with from there. And then, of course, sometimes I'll still write with just other pure songwriters, just trying to write good songs, good commercial songs. But what I'm really falling in love with is working with artists and helping them figure out their sound. Because while I can't figure out mine since I don't have one, I found that I'm good at like milking it out of people. That's so amazing. I'm just in awe of you right now. That's so killer. Wow. And talk about like setting up the foundation for a lot of success for you as a writer, you know, especially starting to write with these young artists, you know, before they have their deals, before they're on the radio and yeah. <sighs> smart gal. All right. What's coming up 2018 for you music wise? So I have a lot of pop demos out right now, which I'm lucky about. And I've had a lot of those since I've been listening to pop for forever. I mean, some kids grow up and their parents listen to Led Zeppelin and they introduce them to the Beatles and every day is like a music history lesson. Well, I got in the car and my mom turned on Radio Disney and we had kids bop CDs and Beethoven's Fifth. And it wasn't actually the symphony. It was like this old weird guy that sang be hilarious Beethoven's fifth songs you know so that was my musical background but now uh since I was grew up on that pop I'm absolutely head over heels for pop and I got to Nashville having never listened to country because people just don't really listen to country in Michigan and I was like oh my god I am so upset that I've been deprived of this <laughs> genre for 18 years like this is cruel you know and now I'm authentically in love with it you know and i'm doing so many country co-writes because i'm like this this genre is fabulous i mean how witty you can be how funny you can be in it i mean there's few genres where you can be that funny so my goal for 2018 is to get all these demos out i've been working on them and hopefully they'll be out around like march april so i'll have all of this country stuff because as you'll see in the songs that i'm gonna play i have like country songs but they're just not demoed so once those are demoed that'll be really cool I am so excited for you for 2018 and beyond. It's going to be a great year to our audience. Keep up with this gal. She's going very far. She's on all the different social media sites. You can follow her on there. And her website is autumnmariemusic.com. All right. Thanks, Autumn. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much for having me. You're the best. Ditto.